What's up guys, it's Binary from here, because Binary is been awesome, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Wars Judgment. Last time we began Chapter 10, of which I have forgotten the name. Um, feature binary, name, insert, now, go. I don't care if you don't want to. I'm asking you to, I'm asking you to do it anyway. up a little bit, so we can actually do something. Maybe. Maybe on the next one they'll do something. I'll also move myself upwards. Um, he didn't want to keep healing, so I'm going to move him up as well. And finally I'll be moving up our SDTs. Mm, I could move up wait. Sure, why not? There are probably several reasons why not. One of which is that Blade is freaking expensive if he dies. He's getting my way! I think we've seen this before, but this is, um, Sir Lancer, obviously. He throws his sword thing. Oddly enough, unlike in the show, he doesn't actually ever dual wield the sword things in, like, two hands. He needs both of them. But he can't do anything. And finally, I'm actually going to be using all my units. Huzzah! Don't block, no. seems kind of catchy. This crash intrude. Once again, I'm pretty sure we've, in fact, I know we've seen it before. But, you know, here it is again. Well, it literally was never going to connect because even if it did hit, it would have hit somebody else. Like, support defense. Heck yeah. Blade's animations are fantastic. They're, like, really detailed. Which is kind of interesting. I'm being sniped by monsters that are spitting at me. I don't think he understands English, I use. Well, he or she. Or it, because it could be both. After all, I mean, logs exist. Oh boy. I'd really rather not have either of them get hit with the tentacle. But, uh, hopefully it doesn't come to bite me in the back, in the rear. Okay, good. After all, both of them were me- um, both of my options were melee orientated. And so both of them would kind of need to move. Far away. This is why HE radars are helpful. It was an HE radar, right? Was that the other part? I don't remember. Need to check that. Or not. Things are different. 
created issue there. So there's a part that um, actually has a typo in it, in its descri item description. Um, and said typo is, like, it's the same description as the other one, but it actually isn't the same item. It's the upgraded version, so it's the typo. Come on, Blade! You can dodge him. I feel like it would be acceptable too, but I don't think you're going to. I've never really understood where the um, blades come out of. I think they might come out of the back of his arm. Like around the elbow area, but I don't know. I really have no idea. Come on, dodge and or counter cut. Yeah! Let's go, you can move over here. I'm sure I'll take one of these. this one. Okay, he's dead. That happened. Honestly, I think I'd actually rather move. Stay here, and then bulking on this one. I'm not that far away. And will he hit? Thankfully he is the flying one, so he can't tend to me. Just slow him down. He can do that though. I guess spit doesn't count as regular ammunition. Take this one down and I'll have IG do the other one. It missed. That was almost terrible. Rip and crap 
go into this one again. Next we also miss. Could go oh, I can go back this one. He's the car gets the EXP from that. And I'll let Dan Cougar take care of this one. With guard and house fencing, half of your thing. I can I can remember that. And you're almost dead, I think I'm not going to be sufficient. it was, and that death animation took a long instinct. Well, I guess I can go over that now. I actually do not remember what the heck it does. It does something. Instinct raises attack power by 25%, and I face it 120 will. It's, I guess, the same thing as... as in power. Except the will requirement is lower, and it is equipped to the pilots and not the unit itself. Okay then. Let me know what we probably have quite a few new ones, I think. Well, we'll see. I guess. I'm definitely thinking we have some new ones though. Yeah, but that oh, we can wait on that. I'll leave that to Blade or whoever that one attacks next. Head to the plane. Here. Beam right for this one. Really hope that it doesn't get shot down. And end our turn. This map is kind of longish. You have better punches than Karu does. Looks like this one is going to be taken down by. Well, maybe not. They have. Do they have health regenerate regeneration as well? Because I know that um Tekken Blue. I know the Tekken Blade does have a um, health regeneration or generative ability. I've had enough of your shenanigans, young man. Da, da, da. Hold him. Ooh, counter activated. Too bad it's probably not going to finish him off, but counter still activated. Thank you, counter. Oh. Now we have now Dan Cougar finally has enough um, morale to use Dan Cougar cannon. Your cannon. I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to be able to pronounce all of Dan Cougar's names, because all of them are long- a lot of the later ones are long and complicated. Prepare yourself. Dan Cougar. Fire. Blah. Blah. Crit, too. Yeah, I thought that would kill you. Um, I can't use Denku kind of formation. And this is, I this one I think is Denku Kogakan. I remember this one. Denku Kan. Uh, this one is the long and complicated one. There's also this weapon, which is a big gun, and it has like the best, one of the silliest quotes ever. Like, guess we're gonna have to pull out the big guns. It pulls out the big gun. Oops, something I forgot to turn off. Remember to turn off, off um, the thing, which I, I apparently I did, because I was gonna use it. Apparently I should be using this one instead. And 
now would be the time for Shinobu to use Dyer. How many are left? Only two. How close is this one to being dead? Very close to being dead. Come on, Blade. Oh, Blade doesn't get that. In that case, I'll leave Blade where he is. Do not have support attack yet? I could totally imagine him somehow him surviving, but he probably died. Including this force of course. Ouch, you don't have this force back. Here's the hoping that he just happens to miss. Thank you. I think the OG games where the text would display before the dodge animation occurs, he would know immediately when the enemy dodges or when you dodge. But you're flying! There is literally no terrain levels in flight. Wow, crit. That's that. Now you're level nine. You're still. You're also level nine. So, Jason Squadron is all level nine. You level nine. You're level eleven. <laughs> you're level nine. And you're level eleven as well. You're level nine. You're level ten. You're level eight. You also need some healing. That should do it for that. I'll rat him destroyed. Great job, everyone! Hey, Kido, what's that robot? He said there was people from some organization called Mithril. They're assisting this area's resistance. Mithril? Is that really what they said? Positive. They said Mithril sent them. Impressive. Who would have thought they'd have an official presence here? Do you know about them? Hmm, just rumors. Captain, something's approaching. Oh no, mobile suits! What are those? Mobile suits? No, it appears something... It, it appears there is something wrong with them. Ow! Looks like one on piece of us too. Be careful, everyone. Hey, long hair. You're the well-informed guy around here, so, uh... You know what those things are? Unfortunately, no. I'm glad to hear that you think so highly of me. But there's a lot I don't ha know. I have to agree with Yuma, though. They don't appear to be very friendly. That crazy screwed up mess the Earth turned into while we were away. Weird things just keep popping up one after the other. Hey, D-Boy, don't tell me you're finished now that we've trashed all the Radom. I don't mind fighting some more. Assuming there's a meal waiting for me at the end. Now, these are the Death Army. They're zombies. It's weird and complicated. It is very weird and also pretty complicated. Um, for now, I need to remember something that I've forgotten, and that would be the range of their weapons. They only have two. not as powerful as the Mizzy attack, so I should be good because all my most of my flying units are flying and they can't attack them. And do I wanna sure I'll put on the sword spot, the sword frame. Gives me a little bit of extra defense. Drops my mobility some, but gives me some more it makes me a little tankier. probably 
tactical tech up. Yeah. Whatever. It's not like they can fight back, so I don't mind doing it. Really? Bad fate. Um, let's move on. Combo plus one on the D boy, if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any of them in a line on this side, and all the ones that are in a line on this side are a bit too far away. In any case, I can repair you. Which should allow me to run back and repair. Um, you know what? HP, it was Ryoko. Oh, Ryoko, it looks like you're moving over here. Sure, you need some. Looks like these other SPTs over here as well. Let's start sniping him. Can't do anything about it. These appear to also have HP regen, which is kind of annoying. Enemies with health regens are really annoying. Um, the original generation of games in particular seem to be very notorious for doing that. It's like bosses that have hit points that are question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. When you know their hit points. Which effectively means that their hit points are 9999999999. But they're not gonna tell you how much damage you dealt. Those enemies seem to be notorious for having a large HP regen and large energy regen. Kind of silly and dumb and annoying. But whatever. Not my game. That's you. Who am I sniping with this? Some um, map attacks that will not damage your allies, but none of these are like those. They can attack one of them, and also attack Kira. I don't really want to do. So they're gonna do this, and somehow manage to hit me. Thankfully, not one hit me though. Never know because he missed, or because that missed. Okay, and the death can use some EXP, I guess. Oh boy. 
By the way, the weapons these things use make absolutely zero sense. No, Cypher, that's on Dan Cougar. Done with the ones on the left side, just to use the ones on the right side. Like that. Right. Yeah, we've done nothing for once on that side. We need map. Like that. Take him down. And, well, we're almost done with dealing with the left side of the. or the dude from the left side, so we'll just deal with the dude from the left side. Uh, right side. Right side. But that's going to have to wait until next time, everybody. So, guys, this has been Binary for Winning. Binary is that awesome. And I'll see you guys later in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed the video as well. 
not suggestions would be nice. Preferably constructive criticism. You can get picky if you need. But now I'm being the picky, so until then, everybody.